The Financial Services Authority ordered financial services institutions to strengthen capital and reserves for impairment losses. This was done to mitigate the risk of a weakening rupiah as a result of the increase in demand for credit in foreign currencies, especially the U.S. dollar. OJK is aware of the withdrawal of foreign exchange, especially U.S. dollars, in large quantities, recently at financial service institutions such as banks and others. This has made OJK recently continue to evaluate foreign exchange exposure in financial services institutions amid the strengthening of the U.S. dollar. Meanwhile, it is known that in September 2022, credit growth grew in double digits by 18.1%, while growth in foreign currency third-party funds only reached 8.4%. Baik pada industri perbankan maupun pembiayaan yang didukung oleh likuiditas yang memadai dan permodalan yang kuat. NPL gross perbankan per September 2022 terpantau turun menjadi 2,78 persen, sementara rasio NPF perusahaan pembiayaan turun ke 2,58 persen meminta LJK untuk memperkuat permodalan dan meningkatkan CKPN untuk bersiap dalam menghadapi skenario yang mungkin lebih buruk akibat kenaikan risiko kredit 